and welcome to my channel. Today we'll be talking about traveling with your art supplies, all the kinds of things that you might want to pack. I'm going to share with you what I put in my travel bag to do um, art on the go and hopefully that'll give you some inspiration. So this um, case that I'm using right now is actually a toiletry case that I got from Target. It um, is really nice because it has two big pockets on either side of the case and it holds um, quite a bit of art supplies. So I want to show you a little bit about what's in the case. Um, so on one side, there's you can see this a nice big pouch for a lot of great goodies. And then on the other side, there's more things. I love that it's clear in the front. And then there's a little pouch in the middle that holds brushes, which is really perfect. Let's talk about what's in each of these. So there's a little um, pencil case that I love to use. That's a canvas that I painted and made into that little pencil case and then there are some stickers that have letters and words on them uh, and then there's a small case here that holds the um, watercolor gelato sticks and um, that little case is a case that people use to store their photographs but it's perfect for storing art supplies and I have lots of different colors in there to use for um, collaging and coloring backgrounds I primarily use these to design the backgrounds and then I have another little box here that has a lot of scraps. So there's um, letters and words and sentences and um, pictures and all kinds of little bits that are inspiring to use. This is usually the box that I go to first when I'm trying to figure out you know, what I want to create. And I kind of dig through that little box and find something that's interesting. And that usually is kind of the focal point or the starting point for a page. And I also like to carry some gel medium, which I use to um, adhere any of my letters or, you know, little magazine strips to my pages. So it's like glue. And then um, white gesso, which I, I love. I use that primarily to start my pages off. Um, I also use them when I color the pages and they get really dark. If you've seen any of my artwork, it's like usually a lot of craziness. Um, and if I need to um, put a little gesso to create a white space so I can write something that, so you can actually see the letters. And then on this side um, I carry a lot of little little bits. So the first little box is oil pastels. Um, the majority of those are coming from a store called Daiso. It's a little dollar store that's in the Bay Area. Lots of different colors to play with. I love metallics. And this other little box has um, stamps, so letter stamps. These are the smallest ones. I usually carry a couple of different sizes, so this is the tiniest stamps. And on the outside, you'll see all the little, you can probably barely see this, little letters. I usually stamp the letter that that particular stamp is for on all four sides so that when the stamp is laying sideways, I can tell what stamp that is without having to lift it up and turn it on its end to see what letter it is. So those, I pretty much do them to most of my stamps. Um, and that's really helpful to find the letter I need and move quickly through spelling the word. Um, and I also want to have a nice stamp pad. This is a jet black stays on ink stamp pad and before I travel anywhere I usually add a little bit of extra ink. You can get those kind of refill ink things I think at Michaels or an art supply store and I fill that up so it's nice and um, juicy to use. There's another set of stamps, like a medium sized set of stamps, and then like a larger one. You use them for capital letters or kind of mix and match them. Those are kind of fun to see you know, sentences put together with different kinds of stamps. And then there's washi tape. So these are washi tapes that um, I, I usually carry these when I travel because they have pictures on them. And I like, um, you know, cutting out one butterfly or just one flower or um, sometimes if they have people's faces or things like that, um, I can just cut those out and use those all different kinds of ways. So I usually don't just kind of use one sh long strip of washi tape. I usually cut it up into little pieces because I like, I choose the ones primarily that have photographs or images on them. And here's one of my favorite stamps of a feather. I always carry one or two of my favorite stamps with me. makes everything a lot more fun. And I particularly try to choose stamps that maybe I haven't used in a while to start using them. And these are scissors. You can see that. 
Uh, I like little tiny scissors. If I'm uh, going to be flying, this is this is something I take out, obviously. But um, but I, I really like to carry a little pair of scissors. And then the inside area has all of my brushes. I usually carry a, a variety, small ones and big ones. This is a brush that um, that I use pretty often, and I'm just showing here that I a lot of times on my brushes that have wooden handles. I often leave my brushes, it's kind of a bad thing, but I leave my brushes sitting in water so sometimes the the wood gets a little waterlogged and the paint on the brush, on the end of the brush starts coming away. So I usually wrap the end of the of my wood brushes with washi tape. Um, that primarily helps to protect it and it also helps me identify it. So if I'm doing a creative session with a bunch of other creative friends, I can always know which brushes are mine. And I'm just showing here how I put those on the end. So if you're interested in doing that, I just kind of start at one end and twirl the brush around between my fingers until I get to a certain point. Usually I have to stop a few times because the brush isn't the same width all the way down. So I stop kind of usually midway and then I start again at the middle part till I get to the end. And now you can see what two brushes look like that are covered with washi tape. I also like to carry a water brush so the water goes in the reservoir in the back and there's a brush tip so it's perfect for um, painting with watercolors particularly if you're in a place that doesn't have where you can't get a cup of water makes it easy and then there's this brush this is a travel brush that I bought uh, many years ago in Washington DC at an art supply store what I love about this brush is that it's full size. So a lot of times travel brushes are miniature and this was one set that I found that folded up and it gave you when it you know when you put it all the pieces together it ended up being a full size brush which I really love. There were um, actually four or five in the pack. I don't remember because I don't know where the rest of the brushes are because I use this one primarily. I use that particular brush a lot but there are smaller brushes that came in the set so you can actually get a set of, I think it was a set of five. And these are some pens. I love uh, black pens, so I keep the black pens for writing. I love the um, Scarlet Lime pen, and then there's a permanent um, black ink pen. Um, the first pen that I showed was a, a pen from a company, a Canadian company called uh, Typo. And that, that pen is a lot of fun. It's uh, very glittery. So those are all of my brushes and my pens. So now let's talk about what's in the middle. Last little pocket has all of my spray inks. And these spray inks are really fun. Um, you'll notice actually I don't have any stencils because I usually use um, things that I find around like leaves or sticks or anything like that as a stencil. But these are the sprays that I use. These particular ones are from Heidi Swap and they are metallic and kind of bright colored. I got them from Michaels on sale. I love using my 50% off coupons for Michaels to get all kinds of fun things. And I love the size of these little um, bottles. The smaller ones are, um, I think they're discontinued at Michaels, but they were they were around for a while and I, I think they marked them down to like, I don't know, 50 cents or 75 cents. I bought a bunch of them. I am well stocked on those little babies. And then um, these are Adirondack inks, I think, and they are just a purple and a, a green. I usually just carry, um, I like the yellows, greens, blues, red. I usually put a hot pink in there. And then there are the, um, the spray misters, the little mini misters that you could put, um, uh, you know, other liquid acrylic in with a little bit of water and spray. And then those are all of my spray inks. So now I'm going to go ahead and put everything back so you can see how it all fits. This is the best part about traveling is to be able to carry things. It's it's tempting to carry a lot of different things but I found that if I just try to restrict myself to what fits into this little pouch it forces me to get really creative with what I have um, I also use um, sticky notes to leave myself notes if I notice that there's something that I'd like to use that I don't have and then that's a reminder to add it for the next time that I travel and I don't know if I mentioned this but I usually keep 
everything together. Um, I never kind of pull this apart and put everything back. Every so often I'll do a little refresh and look through and make a decision about, but pretty much everything that's in this pouch is what I, I carry around, no matter what the case that I use. But this is the newest case and I, it really is working out great. So this is my little travel pouch. Um, you can see how you can easily close the side and then love that there's a nice handle in the middle, makes it easy to carry around and um, close the top. And, and I just love it because you, you know, it's got that great handle and if I have a coffee in one hand and have my purse and another one, um, I can just put that over my wrist and head over to a little table to do some art. So I hope this was inspiring and interesting and you got a lot out of it. I'd love to hear your comments and feedback. Uh, if you have any questions about anything that I showed here, I'd be happy to tell you what it is. Um, I will put as much of what's in here in the description box below. So if you're interested in buying anything, you can find out where to get it. And um, I just appreciate your time and attention hanging out. Thanks, and we'll see you soon.